right, so we are headed to H Mart this morning, which is an Asian grocery store, not too far from us. Mr. Bob got a um, tabletop grill gizmo for Christmas. He wants to start doing Korean barbecue, at least when the weather is nice outside, and which isn't today, by the way. But we don't know where to get started with what to, ingredients to get, what kind of meat to get and all that. And our um, daughter and son-in-law cook this way all the time. And so we are meeting them at H Mart to do some shopping. Um, and I have some veggies and stuff I think I want to get anyway, so. So do some food shopping. Do some food shopping again. Not because we didn't buy enough yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they have jelly beans at H Mart. <laughs> Since we can't find jelly beans anywhere. Anyway, other than that, it's a quiet Sunday, and we've just been hanging out around the house, catching up on laundry and stuff. It's not been, you know, anything over the top or anything. I haven't even done any painting yet, but I will. Anyway, all right, let's go see what they have at H Mart. I'll be back. It is just before one o'clock on Monday, January 6th, 6th, I think. Yep, a January, oh my God, it's February. Ay -ay -ay. I'm never gonna get it straight. Anyway, I edited the vlog for last week. It's saving and rendering right now. Got a painting done, um, something per my husband's request. I, have mixed feelings about how it turned out. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Hey you guys, anyway. I can't believe it, but I finally got the 2022 bookkeeping done and hand it over to Bob so we can put it with all the other personal bookkeeping and we can hand it into our tax man. Um, speaking of which, I think there's a tax form in the mailbox. I didn't think I was gonna really get that done today, but I did. So, it's Tuesday, February 7th, and it is, what time is it? 10.05 a.m. I'm gonna start my work, work day by making a cup of bone broth, so hang on, I'll be right back. start off the morning by doing something about this closet upstairs. This is where I keep my collection, hoard, supply of organization bins. It's also where the guest towels are, some spare table linens. It's a hot mess in here. It's I just have a habit of shoving stuff in here and little of it is organized or labeled with the exception of the guest towels. I have all these empty bins down here and all this junk up here that could be binned and labeled along with this shelf. <sighs> We're gonna fix it. I'm gonna get out the labeler. Uh, We're gonna fix it. I'll be back.
much better. Yes, there's still an abnormally large amount of stuff down here, but at least this part up here, you can actually see what's up there. And we have space, space, and space that I don't necessarily feel like they need to fill up. I'm good with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just spread things out a little bit and we're good. All right, I'll be back. Episode two of fixing the flow and uh, decluttering my art room um, and how slash how I do, how I store things, how I organize things in there is done and in the can. I did find unexpectedly more stuff to get rid of. I didn't expect when I started filming this series for you all that there was gonna be too much of that. I was wrong. <laughs> everybody it is Wednesday February 8th 9 42 a.m. I have counseling in a few minutes so I will be turning off the telephone and my desktop's not on yet so yeah turning off electronics when you just need peace and quiet and or you have something else you need to concentrate on is a really good idea just turn them off that's why they have an off switch um, I've been working on a new video series for YouTube, which includes some more purging and decluttering of the art room, things I was hesitant to do the first, second, or third time around, and um, filming my process and my thoughts, and they're kind of chatty videos, but anyway, they're coming up if you're interested. Anyway, regardless of that, I have had some stuff now that I'm wanting to let go of, and I've had trouble finding a place for it, but... That being said, I did find a thrift store that wants the items, if nobody else does, and a place for um, me to find local creatives who would like um, the items. So if nobody there in the creatives want it, I know a thrift store I can donate it to. So bonus, bonus, bonus. Um, and some of those items should be hopefully getting picked up today, this morning, maybe while I'm in the counseling session, we'll see. Uh, anyway, it's a porch pickup, so um, I'm just waiting for my counselor to come online. And then once that's done, I have a painting I did yesterday I initially wasn't sure about. Now I'm looking at it thinking, you know, it's not that bad. Um, so yeah, and I, I, of course I have a million projects to do. I do have some like sun shades on the window because yeah, this I love sitting here, but it does get a little bright. So we have some sort of DIY 
window shades. I could lower the blinds, but then there's a plant there. I don't know. This works for the moment. I don't want to close the window right now. So anyway, I think that's it for the minute. I'm going to get ready for my counseling session and I'll be back. After a little brief interlude with the little one next door, I painted a watercolor painting while she was here, which I is very simple, very abstract, but I love it and I'm not going to touch it anymore. There you go. Berkeley called it the rainbow sunset. I don't disagree with her. Um, then I um, got a message from the sketchbook project out of Brooklyn, New York, and I guess they're closing up shop and sending sketchbooks to a another place that does something similar. But if you want your sketchbook back, you can get it back. I had no idea about this. I had two days before the deadline for that was over. And um, I've done, I think, two sketchbooks for them. And so I just now filled out the form for that. So cross your fingers, we get one or, well, I'd like both back, but cross your fingers, we get at least one back. I'll share when we do. And then I was going through stuff, looking for my project, sketchbook project library card, which is here. <laughs> and I found this notebook. I evidently made goals for 2020. <laughs> I forgot I did this. I'm gonna have to sit and read it and yeah. Anyway. All right, since I had to turn the computer on to do the sketchbook project thing, which I was actually trying not to do today because I thought that would be cool if we had a day without the desktop on, but anyway, I'm going to post some stuff on Patreon for the patrons and some stuff to the patron only YouTube channel. Preview, uh, preview views, previews of videos that you guys will see later. Anyway, you, you, you get it right. All right, if you want to join my Patreon, the link is down below. All right, <sighs> let's get to it. The gardener showing up, um, and what I'm assuming is this new day, because since the start of the new year, he's been showing up a day early. Um, all the fabric went to a good home. She's gonna cull through it. What she can't use, she's gonna pass on. And the son of the other lady came and she picked up the box of alcohol inks and just miscellaneous stuff I kept finding and dumping in there. So it's all going to creative homes. They've all said what they can't use, they will pass on, which is great. They'll cull through it. And yeah, so cool. Anyway, that's it. Porch is all cleaned off now. And I can't change my mind because it's all gone. All right, I'll be back. I've got to empty the dryer, but I don't know. <laughs> I evidently am feeling better, but I feel sorry for manic anxiety ridden Gina because um, every time I think I'm through um, all of it, what do I mean by that? So when I'm in the midst of an anxiety, panic attack, mania situation, I tend to make piles and collections of things, put things away in places that when I'm feeling better, I can't figure out where that safe place was. Um, I evidently also start journals about things that I never finish and that don't make sense to anybody, not even me, because I found a couple of those today. So that's okay. I am going to be starting a morning thoughts journal, not quite daily pages, because it's going to be like creative thoughts. I have been having episodes of my brain not wanting to shut off and I can go to sleep, not for any bad reason, but because I have ideas for projects and colors and all of that, like in my brain. So I'm gonna be making some notes about it in the morning when I have my coffee. Um, right now I'm gonna empty the dryer and then when Bob is done upstairs, we're gonna go walking. Hopefully before it turns bla uh, black outside, really dark, the sun is starting to go down, so. Cross your fingers. I'll be back. Walk. Bob's on the phone with one of his brethren from the Masonic Lodge in California. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go get some steps in. I'll be back. Everybody, it is 10.01 a.m. February 9th, I think, Thursday. Anyway, we are obviously in the car. We're gonna head out and run some errands. Um, of course, tomorrow is Friday, so we're gonna um, have two, at least two of the kids over, and we're gonna, I, I'm gonna pick up something for dinner while I'm out, along with Hunt for Jelly Beans. Um, 
But I've got a lot of other stuff to do too. I've got to mail something to my friend and Patreon, patron, patron, holy cow, um, Kathy Whitney. And I've got to check the P.O. box and I've got to check up some prescription, check on some prescriptions. Hey guys, I haven't gotten on camera before now because I've been creating like a wild woman. What time is it? 3.40 p.m. Still Thursday. Um, I did another abstract watercolor. Seems to be my daily thing. I've also started on a couple of different cigar boxes. One I had, one for my friend Leslie McGrath, turning them into more writing boxes, urban sketching boxes, pashad boxes, whatever you want to call them. Um, I have ideas for both of them. They'll be different. Um, the one, this one is cardboard. Um, so I'm doing it a little differently to see um, what's a good way to do it. This other one is wood. So um, screwing things into it, cutting wood to fit into it. You'll see. And I will shoot some kind of video um, when I work out some things. Um, especially showing you guys how to do the one out of the cardboard cigar box because I don't think those are like more easy to find for very cheap or free than the wooden ones. So anyway, <sighs> okay. I think I'm gonna sit and listen to some YouTube uh, Reddit stories. I know it's a bad addiction, but anyway. Um, make sure I've got my mess I made cleaned up and yeah. That's it for the minute. We are going to go walking. Mr. Bob is home tonight, so we're going to go walking later before we have dinner. So that'll be good. All right. I'll be back. It's dark. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go for a walk and try to get some steps in. It was a pretty good productive afternoon. I got all my chores done this morning, errands that I had to do, so it was all good. I was putting off doing the dishes because I thought I had to empty the dishwasher, but I, I was wrong. So there you go. Anyway, let's go get some steps in, see what we can see. I'll be back. Hey guys, I would say good morning, but it's 1.36 p.m. <laughs> Friday, February 10th, I think. So uh, last night I sent the patrons and supporters a message and a couple of pictures. I had some cigar boxes. Now one box I had, I found in my collection of stuff. I'm pretty sure this is a box I got from a friend who, who does smoke cigars. I don't smoke. I don't smoke, I don't drink. Anyway, um, it's a really nice cigar box. And then I got some more cigar boxes from my friend Leslie McGrath. Because right now, in case you didn't know, I'm very into making plein air, pochade, travel art, urban sketching, whatever you wanna call them, boxes. It's really just, I'm obsessed. I have this one here, which can be packed up all into the wooden box, put in a tote bag and taken. With me, I have a smaller one downstairs and now I've just made two more. What am I gonna do with them all? I don't know. Hold on, let me get a phone stand. Okay, then my oh, my hands won't get so tired. So first, my friend Leslie sent me some pretty standard cigar boxes. That doesn't mean I don't appreciate them. Let me just say that by, making, by saying standard. Um, if you guys wanna make something like this, this is gonna be the type of box you're gonna more readily find for cheap or free, then it's gonna be the other one that I'm gonna show you. Um, you can also use um, like an unfinished plain wood box from like the craft store, which is what I made the one I have downstairs out of. Um, and I actually didn't buy it at the craft store. I found it at Goodwill for like three bucks and they cost like 15 to 20 bucks. Uh, anyway, so um, it's going to be an art box. It's going to get messy. You're going to take it around, whether you're traveling or you're just walking the neighborhood and doing some sketching, you're going to take it around. It's going to get messy. And depending on how you like to work, whether you draw or paint or you're just journaling, that's going to make a difference in how you set the box up, to be honest. I have some boxes that have an easel in them. Um, these two don't. These are more writing and sketching boxes. Um, anyway, this is more of your cardboard type of cigar box. I took some book bindy tape, and this is actually hockey tape. <laughs> um, I love it. I love the past skull pattern on it. I mean, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that. Um, it doesn't stick super well, so the book binding tape, which is super sticky, and this, this is not gonna come off easily. Um, that's why this is on here in some places, to reinforce things, and this is just decorative. Anyway, 
I reinforced the hinge with book binding tape and then this on top and then some more of this on the corners to really make it strong. I also made a closure with book binding tape and of course decorated it with um, the sides with the hockey tape. Um, and again, put some strips of book binding tape over the edges of the hockey tape so that it really sticks really well. And I put Velcro. I E6000 the Velcro onto this little flap of tape. Um, I glued in um, a Dollar Tree plastic cutting board piece that I punched holes in, threaded elastic in. And I, I already said this is a writing box, right? So you can put your pens and pencils up here. Because I've put so much tape to reinforce the hinge, I'll tell you about this in a minute, to reinforce the hinge, it doesn't open all the way, which actually, if you're working, um, let's see, hold on. Ugh. If you're working with the box, that's actually, unless it's really windy, that's actually gonna be really handy that it doesn't open all the way because it'll just stand here and you can pull your pen out do your drawing or your sketching or your writing and then put the pen back. If it's a really windy day so that this doesn't like fall backwards um, or slam forward, you might want to just um, close it. Um, but you also could um, like put something behind it. So you could actually put a little um, block of wood, drill a hole in the wood, drill a hole in the cardboard of the box I put a long uh, bolt and nut through it, and but not too tight so that you could swing it around. You have it be kind of long, so when it's down, it's this way, but when you swing it around, it's up this way, and that would hold the back, so if it gets windy, it's gonna just hit the little piece of wood. But this is chipboard, and so um, it's like sewing on plastic or vinyl. Every hole you punch in, it weakens it. So I would probably just say, use it this way, prop it up against your bottle of water or something. Or if it's a very windy day, just take all your pens and pencils out and just close the box lid. That would probably be the safest way. Now I did decorate the box lid with some of my stickers and decals, some of which I've designed and um, some which I had in my stash. And then I covered them with clear packing tape to make sure not only that they stay on the box, but if it gets a little bit wet or damp or something that it doesn't like mess it all up. Um, otherwise I didn't do much to the box. I mean, I, that seems like a lot, but um, I think it has a nice, you know, open empty space for your journal, maybe a small watercolor palette, um, and an envelope with a few pieces of ephemera and then some pens. I think it's a really good option. So I really love that one. Let me put this one to the side and get the other box. Is a wood cigar box. This. The brand name on this is Romeo and Juliet, Julietta. Um, it says aging room on the front. This is what the front looks like. I didn't do anything to the outside of the box. Um, it's a nice, heavy um, wood cigar box. It has really nice hinges on it that stay open. So if you're gonna use this as a um, painting box and you want it to stay open um, and not swing shut in the wind, but also um, like prop your journal up against the lid. Um, you could do that in this one because the hinges stay open. Um, however, that's not what I did to this one. As soon as I saw this box, I had an idea. So um, when I um, first opened the box, it had some wood inside of it. I'll show you what that is in a minute. It had some wood inside of it that was sticking up like this. So there was the outer part of the box bottom, then there was an inner piece. And this inner piece went inside of the lid. I, I'm guessing that's just to hold extra cigars so they can keep the extra cigars in there. I obviously pull all that out. And I stained the bottom with some gray stain. So the other thing I did was, of course, as you see, add another pencil pen holder to the lid. So this pen's probably a little bit too big, but you get my drift. Um, I would use a small, I would probably put my small paint brushes on here because it's me. Um, and actually I had these paint brushes in mind when I did this. So 
Oh, that still is too small. Let's see. Anyway. Um, or a small pencil. Anyway, I like the idea. Or you could put some tools in here. Um, but it also has, you ready? A secret compartment. So in the secret compartment, you can put ephemera, paper, um, the pens and brushes that don't fit on the cover. And maybe maybe they're actually stored in here when you have the box packed up. And then when you have it open and you're working, you take them out and put them in, in there. That works too. Um, this is on magnets and um, it fits in the lid. And then if you have all your pens and tools in here, because it won't close with them in the bands, um, you have this whole part for a journal, ephemera, watercolor paints, and it came with a magnetic closure. Um, so, I mean, it, it, it will open, but it's a pretty good closure. So, oh, it's opening because I have this in here wrong. There we go. Is that working? Yeah. With a magnetic closure. I would probably put um, an elastic band around the box. That's actually what I did with my other one that's downstairs. Um, I do have some brass closure things. I could put one here on the front if I decide I need to, um, but I probably, I'm the type that I probably will just put a band around it. I, I use elastic hair bands um, and that sort of thing because um, they're handy and they work really well. I'll show you Elastic what headbands at the dollar store. Um, I seem to be out at the moment, but I have a box full of elastic bands of different types and I'm gonna try to use what I have. Um, some of these aren't made anymore, but I have an old Seven Gypsies one. I don't know if that one will fit. I think that one actually has hook and eyes on it or something, so that might be nice. I have some Happy Planner elastic bands and I have some Smashbook bands. So it's always handy to have these. These are more like the dollar store headbands and it's always really handy to have some of these around if you do things like this or you have thick heavy journals or this one, yeah, I forgot about this one. This one's like the back of a bra. You actually could make this if you know how to sew, if you have basic sewing skills. So it's just a piece of elastic and on either end they took bra, bra parts, so it's the, the the eye, um, eye part, the eyelet part, and this is the hook part. And then it has a, um, this with a, a ribbon on it where, I, I mean, if you know me, you know I like to hang charms and stuff for my journals and my boxes. and <coughs> That would actually be nice. This one will fit really well. Maybe you have an old bra that, um, <coughs> excuse me, is worn out or something. And um, you could, before you throw it away, pull the hooks and eyes off of it and save them and put pair them up with some elastic and look at that. Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon, February 11th. It's like 2.15 p.m. We spent the morning getting up, well, early for us and getting out of the house for a Saturday. I had a 10 a.m. flu shot appointment, so we went and got that done. We did our gro weekly grocery shopping. And then in the midst of all that, found out a dear friend of ours is not doing very well. Uh, I'm not gonna say any more than that, but I do hope that you all help me send some good vibes to her way and her husband's and we wish for her a speedy recovery. Um, but yeah, it's pretty serious. So anyway. The little ones came by for a visit, so that was fun. We have to set the timer when they do that now though, because otherwise they'll just stay at my house all day. And then their mom calls and says, can you send the kid home? <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, we're gonna go for a walk now, get some steps in. We missed out on yesterday because the kids were over, but yeah, anyway. A little cold but it's not too bad and it and the sun is out i mean you guys there's barely a cloud in the sky not mad about that all right let's go see what we can see i'll be back hey guys so here's the thing it's sunday morning ish i think it might be actually lunchtime. um 
I forgot to close the vlog last night. Plus I got happy mail from Kathy Whitney. Kathy, thank you so much. And I love the way you decorated the envelope. I mean, she's got um, even, yeah, and that, the leaf pattern is a stamp that she carved. I love it. Um, I haven't opened it yet, obviously, so let's do that. Um, we just got busy yesterday. Uh, there was just a lot of chores and grocery shopping and errands and just stuff. And we also booked a vacation. Um, not gonna say when, because um, that's a safety issue, but um, we are going to go to Virginia and um, going to hopefully tour as many horse historic sites as we can while we're there. We'll be there for a week and I think it'll be a lot of fun. So I've never been. Um, so that and I'm looking forward to it. For those who don't know, Bob was born and raised on the East Coast. He's from New York City. So anyway, I think it'll be a lot of fun. So we booked that and oh yay, yeah. oh there's even a note. Um, and we, you know, we just got wrapped in the up and that and baby shower stuff. And as I think I said, um, a friend of ours is pretty seriously ill. And so we were checking in with her husband and yeah. So anyway, uh, good wishes and good vibes, um, sent their way as much appreciated. So anyway, I hope you guys have had a great week. Um, Kathy has sent me a pack of fabric. She evidently picked it up a while back. She says I'm horrible about sending things out. Kathy, <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm finding things I forgot I had. Um, she sent a couple of bonus images. Oh, Kathy, I love you too. And let's see. Um, oh, yay. Oh, I love some of this fabric. So she sent me a couple of pieces of artwork. This one's titled, Here's Looking at You, Gina. That's cute. She made these with, I believe, Art Foamies. And here's another one. I'm gonna have to hang these up. This one doesn't have a title, but I recognize that as one of KP's Art Foamies. Um, if you don't know, I'm a designer for Art Foamies and um, I'll link them down below. And they have a lot of really great rubber stamp, uh, rubber stamps, foam stamps, and, and a lot of great designs from a lot of really great people. And so go show them some love and support, USA based company. And oh my gosh, Kathy, this fabric you found. This is like right up my alley. Look at that. I love it. I don't know what I'm gonna make out of it yet. But my first thought is not a face mask because I have plenty of them. Oh, how cute of a pencil bag would that be? Not that I need another pencil bag, but I love that. All right, so thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a great week. Um, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. I do answer every single comment that I can find. And um, yeah, share my channel. I would appreciate that. Uh, like and subscribe the videos. Don't skip through the commercials if you can because that helps me with ad revenue. Speaking of which, if you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube, have ready access to me, help with different things, art things, life things, um, setting up your art room things, um, whatever it may be, we do have uh, Patreon and um, a private Patreon, not only YouTube channel with videos you don't see here, but um, we have a private Patreon Facebook chat. And they know about stuff you guys either never know about or way before you guys do. So, um, and they get unedited, uncut versions of some videos that you guys see over here. Anyway, if you'd like to do any of that, it's very reasonable. I'll leave the links all down below. Check it out. By the way, I wrote a book a long time ago, but the book's still out there. I'll leave a link for that too. We do have the video series coming up here, Fixing the Flow on YouTube. And the first video at the time of me filming this has already been aired. There is a YouTube playlist. I'll link that down below too. Anyway, all right, that's it for this week. See you next week. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.